Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing RimWorld Alpha 16 on extreme difficulty as the Flaming Muffalo Nomads. Let's um, actually collect these guys. We do have a bit of a problem with Motch being on a fire sorting spree. Let's hope that nothing will burn down of uh, importance because we have some mad deers over here that are gonna go and attack us. Um, not too happy about that, but I mean, what can you do? Um, we try to bring them over here maybe I wonder where we're gonna be um, attacked from which direction let's go for this and let's let's hope that we can actually deal with it yeah they're coming at us let's hope that our animals don't get hit okay yeah they're coming at us kill them kill them Stupid deer. Yeah, they have a bit of a problem because they're going after um, over the water, over the marsh. What about these? Come at me, bro. Dear bro. Yes, that is working rather well. <laughs> it's actually bringing, giving us enough food. No, don't. Did you hit our husky? Yeah! Assault gunshot rifle. Oh no. You had poison. Poor poison. Um, we're gonna allow all these, all these bodies. So, yeah, they are allowed now. Oh, and you've just been downed. That's fine. We're gonna set you to be hunted. I'm gonna do something with all that food. No, watch. <laughs> that could have gone wrong. Um, expand the home area. And Morch is still on a fire starting spree. Yeah, she's just burning down our barn. <laughs> that can happen. It shouldn't, but it can. Okay. Floors. We're gonna now we're gonna remove those floors on the outside to get some building material back. Yes. That's looking good. Uh, a couple of patches ago, you actually did not get any building material back, but now you do. Uh, you have been patched up though, so that's good. We hit you with a gunshot, but really, it's nothing personal. Okay, things are happening. That makes me super happy. Let's go ahead. Fill all this with uh, wooden floors. One floors over here. Terrain here is already wooden floor. Okay, that's fine then. That looks good. Oh yeah, actually I have not put floor under the doors. That might be a bit annoying for my colonists. And then we're gonna basically close these Close these areas up. And uh, we're gonna be fine then. But this, but this poison is fully healed. That's good. Buddha has gotten some gotten some food poisoning. That can happen. It's the ninth of spring. I guess we definitely have to go and harvest some more berries. It's not best practice to live off of berries, but we are nomads, so I mean what can I do? We got some some rich soil over here. Some rich soil over here. Some rich soil over there. I wonder if that's really the way to go, to go for these rich soil spots. Um, because people will have to walk for quite a while to get to those spots. That might not be the best idea. Well, at least we're getting some cooking done, but I get the feeling that it's actually not enough. Um... I'm not sure how we're gonna solve that. And we have another mad animal. A local rat has gone mad. Okay, we're gonna set you to be hunted. Attacking profit. Really, how dare you? We'll see how it goes. Poison is pregnant. That's the rat. Over there is the rat. Um, you have not been unforbidden. Box right. You do have the survival rifle, so maybe try your hand at that rat. Come on, dude. Nope. Nope. 
I believe in you. Come on. Nope, that did not work. <laughs> it's running away though. It's trying to get through those doors. Orange. Go with the pump shotgun. Come on. Um is that thing down? No. Fire at the red. Box right you're done. Yes, well done, orange. Nice. We could eat the red. Definitely gotta go for the beds now. This is gonna be the last night that people actually sleep in those beds, I promise. I um, think what we'll do is... Yeah, actually, um, in terms of work, we're gonna pull everyone off construction except Orange, um, Profit, and Boxroid. That should be enough. And then we're gonna go for a bunch of beds. We do have enough wood. We have 1400 wood stored, so we can go for quite a bit of them. Uh, we want people to sleep as luxuriantly as possible. Maybe I should have transported my beds actually from the last from the last settlement, but they're super heavy, so I wasn't sure if it is really a thing. I cancel that one. So tomorrow we have a crap ton of beds. And let's hope that they also build this kind of stuff to um, my contentment. This place. Yeah, I mean, they all got wood already. That's good. No one is you're harvesting a raspberry bush. Refuel the stove first, please. That would be good. Most of that meat is actually going to rot away. I'm not too happy about that. Well, no, it's actually minus one degree. So we have a little while longer where our um, meat will keep. In one day we can start um, growing things. That's going to be good. Profit. You're uh, cloud watching. Okay, I was hoping you would um, get to building some of these beds, but oh well. Who needs it? Orange is milking um, an animal. Um, and yeah, finally our animals are actually hauling stuff back to the um, to the place. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to train these guys for hauling. If they if they are here, they have to pull their own weight. There's just no no way around it. Can I train the polar bears to be haulers already? We're gonna start with that because it's gonna take us a long time to train them up. It's also gonna cost some food, which might not be the best idea, but oh well. Um, let's have a look at it. Good bed, um, normal bed, good bed, normal bed, good bed. Poor bed. Deconstruct that one. Deconstruct that one. We're only gonna take good or higher. Deconstruct that one. Okay, how's it looking? Superior bed, very good. I like it. Things are definitely progressing nicely. Shoddy bed. How could you profit? Normal bed, deconstruct that one. Oh yeah, and we have to cut these bushes, I guess. <laughs> it's a normal bed, we're going to deconstruct that one. Good, superior, good, superior. It's looking okay. How's that one? That's another superior bed. Boxrod is definitely producing some very nice beds. That's a poor one. I'm not sure if it's really worth it to have orange and uh, and profit in this because they are actually wasting a lot of materials. Another poor bed. You have a bad day. That's another poor bed. Yeah. Okay, that does it. <laughs> that does it. Um, construction. No. No. Only Boxroid is gonna build beds from now on. Okay, normal bed, we're gonna deconstruct that one. Good bed, we're gonna keep it. Superior bed, looking very nice. 
Oh, and it's already 18 o'clock. That's not great. But what I could do is I could start reinstalling these. So, um, and we have a pirate merchant. Nice. Maybe they'll sell some some proper weapons. I wouldn't mind um, if that were to happen. So another good bed, another superior bed. Actually, cancel those. Cancel. I think we're only gonna go for superior ones. Where are the pirate merchants? Where are the pirate merchants? Ah, there they are. Wonder what they're gonna bring. Um, let's have a look through the bad superior. That one is good. That one is good. That one is superior. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna start with the superior beds. So gonna reinstall that. Good bed. Gonna reinstall that superior bed. It's a good bed. Good bed. Superior bed. So go for that. Let's reinstall that superior bed. That's a good bed. That's a good bed. Good superior. Nice. We're gonna put that over here. Muffalo has gotten food poisoning again. Well, I mean, I guess we should use the good beds. It's gonna take a long while. Well, there's a poor bed. Well, everyone makes mistakes from time to time. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's reinstall the good beds as well. That's a superior one that's already being reinstalled. Let's put that one on. Do this. We've got some major break risks. I guess I definitely have to to go ahead and give everyone a proper bedroom. We can always go for another for another round of um, building beds. Reinstall that one, and that does it. Um. Now I actually have to um, send someone to trade with these pirate merchants. Come on, Prophet. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, we might actually be able to sell some of our huskies. We have a lot of them. We might not really be willing to have to, to keep them all. Mm. They're willing to sell some cougars. They have, they have a young breeding pair. Might not be a bad idea to... I mean, they have only intermediate intelligence, so they cannot be trained to haul. Yeah, I guess we don't want them then. Um, I thought they were a pirate merchant. Slior. Yeah, these are high-tech guys. Well, maybe they're not willing to sell their, their high-level weapons to us. I guess that might be a thing. Um, I've got a bunch of little huskies. I think I'm gonna sell the small huskies. We still have some more of the small huskies. Starvation, female husky. We want mainly, mainly um, female huskies, but maybe we're gonna keep them for a little while longer. What about the old huskies though? Navigator is um, the old muffalos. Blue is 17 female muffalo. She might die at any point because the life expectancy is only um, 15 for these guys. So she's, she's quite a bit over. Queen bee is a female. We've got those polar bears. They're worth quite a bit. They're not paying that well for animals, I gotta say. I could maybe just sell some of the small male muffalos. Mm, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna sell any of the animals. Although we do have a problem feeding them. Yeah, tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna sell our our male huskies. That's gonna be fine. And then we're gonna sell some of our male muffalos as well. So we're gonna sell 
We actually got older Muffalos there. Yuma could sell hunger. And I think we're gonna sell the small ones. Like this. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Let's go for it. <clears throat> so we got a bunch of money. Got some silver. Got 3,000 silver. Sold some animals. Oh yeah, we need we need people to transport um, these beds, I guess. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, on the construction duty again for people. Construction duty... Actually, yeah, I think so. I think so. Actually, we don't need construction duty on you or the other guys. Half hand, you don't really need to construct. So we're gonna have four constructors. I think that's fair. I think that's fine. We still need some more stools and dining tables and stuff like that. Which actually might not be a bad idea. But first, we I, I do want to be rid of all those beds. Minor break risk, Tinger and half hand. As soon as these guys got their own bedroom, things are gonna look um, a lot better. I'm looking forward to it. So we sold some of the small huskies. They have masters. No, we don't really want them to have masters. Um, no, no masters. I don't want them to form a bond, but they're already nearly trained towards hauling, which is quite nice. That's actually going really well. Um, we've still got some small female huskies. And we've still got Peter, our husky puppy. We don't want these guys to go out. Yeah, they're already trained for obedience as well. That's pretty nice, gotta say. Okay, things are happening now with the beds. Prophet is building awful beds. Maybe you're not quite the carpenter there. I think you built a good one as well, but... Okay, so we're finally getting the beds done. Boxroid built another good bed. And another good bed. People are getting food poisoning from the berries. And it's the 11th of spring. That means that we have to start growing stuff. Um, I'm gonna let them do this um, first though. The whole bad, uh, bad situation. Actually, we really don't want these lying around in our base. Are there any more? Yeah, here and here and here. Could use them for defenses. That might be a thing. Definitely want them all away. And then, yeah, growing zone. We want this with the rich soil. I think we need. I think we need rice. And then we need another growing zone. And then we're gonna go for corn. I think. Um, where is it? Corn plant. Because they yield the most food. Then we're gonna go for this. No, oh, goddammit. Not sure how big I made them. I think... I'm just gonna make them 17 by 17. Uh, this is gonna be potatoes. That's gonna be fine. And then we need a smaller growing zone. And uh, then we're gonna have heel root. Where is it? Heel root. We need another growing zone for smoke leaf. Yeah, like this maybe. Uh, make this a smoke leaf thing. And then we want a crap ton of hay grass. We want a huge amount of hay grass. For the winter like this i guess okay hey grass where are you over here oh yeah and some strawberries maybe so 
Let's get one more zone going over here with some strawberries. Where are they? Strawberry plant. Good. That's looking fine. Now people are starting to, to plant stuff. Everyone has a bed now in their room. So we're going to deconstruct all those sleeping spots. And everyone is going to um, get themselves their own sleeping room. Uh, we're going to deconstruct that normal bed. Deconstruct that poor bed. Another poor bed. We've got a superior bed. So I'm going to reinstall this. I got an excellent bed. That's great. Got another good bed. We're gonna uninstall that one. Uninstall that one. Uninstall that one. Deconstruct that one. Uninstall that one. Deconstruct the shoddy bed. And we have another superior bed. That's one to be uninstalled. That's one to be uninstalled. And then we have, how many do we have? I think three. One, two, three. Yeah, so we gotta uninstall that. That and that, and then we're gonna reinstall the the, the big ones, uh, the the highest quality ones. That's gonna be fine. Then looking forward to it. And then we'll we'll finally be done with the whole. Um... Right. So superior, superior bed. Move in there. Got the excellent bed. Move into there the superior bed move into there so our beds are of the highest quality now we are ready to go for growing i think what i'll do is i'll go over the priorities in between um in between episodes we also gotta do some sort of defense i think we might just put walls around our growing zone so that no animals can get in there that might be something that could be useful um because they they are gonna eat our plants which we don't want um, I guess I have to, yeah, I have to create some zones. Uh, but so far things have gone well. We managed to rebuild at our new camp. And uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.